Oprah is all about integrity but where was it when Harry and Meghan's nephew Prince George and sister-in-law Catherine were being hounded by trolls? If she cared all at all, she would have looked deeper into what Harry and Meghan were saying before going on camera and doing her what? Face when the alleged conversation about Archie's skin color came up. The one thing we don't understand is that Meghan allegedly was not there when the concern was made. It was said to Harry who told her. Who twisted it? Did they both twist it in order to lay blame on the family? Since the interview with Meghan and Prince Harry, we've been turned off by the hypocrisy and sheer stupidity Oprah has shown. The so-called tell-all was not fact-checked and she believed every single thing that fell out of the Sussexes' mouths. As soon as those headlines started coming in and Oprah learned they were exaggerating or downplaying her life, she was furious. This tarnished Oprah's credibility as one of America's best interviewers, and even now, nearly eight months later, it hasn't fully recovered. American audiences are starting to realize that Harry and Meghan are not practicing exactly what they are constantly preaching and people are starting to protest against them. Oprah knew she needed to separate herself from them for her own good. An interview was a slam fest to get back at the royal family for not giving them what they wanted, free reign to do what they wanted. There was plenty of support for Meghan when she claimed to be suicidal. In fact, it was all over the media that Samantha Cohen and an array of people were helping her adjust to her new life. Oprah is a journalist and has done plenty of interviews before the train wreck Sussex Wine Fest. The reason we bring this up is because since the interview went public, the royals, more specifically the Cambridges have come under fire from the Sussex squad. All this comes after Meghan told Ms. Winfrey that her sister-in-law, Catherine made her cry prior to her 2018 wedding when it was the total opposite. We've reported one how Meghan allegedly bullied Princess Charlotte with the help of her then-BFF Jessica Mulroney which ended up resulting in the dress not fitting properly. Also, it was reported either before or after the wedding, Catherine had to give Meghan a dressing down when she was told that she'd been yelling at the staff, according to Mickey. She doesn't research or verify anything so she just believed Meghan when she said Catherine made her cry during the bridesmaid dress's fittings. Prince William is a stand-up guy who is a supportive son to Prince Charles a loving husband to Catherine, and a devoted papa to George, Charlotte, and Louis. Once upon a time, he was a dedicated big brother to Harry and would only ever look out for his best interests. Unlike his brother, he would never allow his temper to get the better of him. It has been mentioned on the grapevine that Prince William does have a temper but he doesn't allow it to explode in public. While this is simply a rumor, we think everyone has a temper to some degree but some people are better at reining it in than others. Harry is definitely not on that list. William is though because he doesn't want people to think he is not suitable to be king. Anyway, what amazes us about William is how he will protect his family. Look at how he attended Catherine's engagement after Meghan threw her under the bus during Oprah's interview. When a journalist asked if the royal family was racist, William had two options, ignore the question or answer it. He answered it. If he hadn't, it would give the press the chance to do what Meghan and Harry expected they would do, print untrue articles. After all, the Sussexes used the never complain, never explain mantra to their advantage.